whoa, 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 whoa. It's summertime and something that you should not forget and I have been iterating in my videos is sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Like those in Hindi, Indian TV serials. Okay, so here are my, all my sunscreens which I'm gonna rate, first of all, based upon my usage. Secondly, I'll tell them which for which skin which is suitable so that you can go ahead and make your choice right off the bat I had this on table and let me just talk about this. This is the tri moody vitamin C serum uh, Not serum sunscreen vitamin C sunscreen very cute very cute packaging But not thought through because it won't stand it has to always lie down since and hence capturing more surface area So yeah, I really liked it. It retails for 695 for 50 ml of the product which is really up there but i am pretty sure you can find it on discount because i got it for 185 mm -hmm. so yes this is really ideal for dry skin type because it's kind of thick in its texture and oily skin people won't like it okay so i would say people who are living in humid area or people who have really really oily skin Mm -mm, don't go for this okay sensitive skin people also can stay away from this since it has some grainy abrasive particle which i feel while applying so i'd give this a 5 on 10 okay i'm enjoying this but since the abrasive particle i don't think i'll be purchasing and what do we have here we have the iksu lifestyle mall uh, sunscreen i know many of you people are like online online some people are actually living close to this these malls or these shops or which sell these uh, sunscreen and here I am to tell you my review about this don't worry if you see this for the first time like I am opening the box I'm using this for the second time so this is really really good ideal for all skin types I must say it retails for 249 for 50 ml now that's pricing okay and then they also said that if you get if you buy two you get one free skin types but mostly I would suggest this for oily skin type leaves no white cast whatsoever and is really really quick absorbing so yeah go ahead and check this one out I would give this an 8 out of 10 I have something which is basically uh, been my ride or die since five years I I will have all the sunscreens which are like going on suns you know which are basically going on per season but I will have one tube of this for sure in my cupboard because this is so good they have they have made sunscreen by the way for all skin types okay you can check out their descriptions are the description is going to be like that they have in gel and cream variant they have from SPF 20 to SPF 50 they might even have SPF 60 I don't know right now but I have the one which is of SPF 50 by the way you can get from SPF 30 to SPF 60 anywhere in between don't go lower than SPF uh, 30 it's really of no use right now because we have gone past that phase and it will not give you enough protection for enough time it was solid 9.5 out of 10 this leaves no white cast whatsoever I recently fallen in love with this uh, minimalist SPF 50 actually SPF 53 point something it actually is really really good on the outer packaging they have mentioned that they have cleared the european standards which are one of the highest okay so i am really proud of that fact alone plus it's very really it's really really ideal for only let me just add dry and sensitive probably not oily sensitive dry sensitive why because this is actually kind of very hydrating it leaves your skin very shiny kind of a moisturizer so i would not suggest this to oily skin people so yeah uh don't go for this for dry skin people it's magic in a bottle it's really really good and it stays long it hydrates your skin if you're using this you don't need even moisturizer yes i am saying this being a dry skin person and it also does not leave any white casts whatsoever so i'd give this a solid 7.5 out of 10 just because it's not meant for the other skin type i mean if they come out with a gel variant for other skin type the second last one is Lacme Sun Expert. Now they have come up with the gel variant as well also. Uh, so you can go for that. And this is actually the, the one which I have right now is the Ultimate Lotion Light Non-Sticky. Uh, whatever, whatever. It's 50. 
basically this is a cream variant and i wouldn't say this is ideal for dry skin people since it can stick to your dry patches it's really good if you have oily or very oily oily skin like to use it on my body it's a very good sunscreen i'm not denying that okay see it gets absorbed also very very quickly but it's not meant for dry skin people that's all i'm saying so yeah and it contains a little bit of fragrance as well like prominent fragrance the lacme fragrance you you would know i'd give this a 7.5 out of 10 because of all the factors that i've mentioned plus the fragrance guys i just want to tell you one fact have patience and watch this part okay do not skip on it if you really want to i'm no one to stop by the way so i would just say that fragrance is something that is unnecessary to your sunscreen um not sunscreen skincare okay it is not needed fragrance and color if they're naturally coming from an ingredient in the product it's fine but if they're added artificially okay they're not actually needed and they're one added chemical to your product which can possibly harm your skin okay till now we have not shown you know that we can be allergic to fragrance but some people are okay and slowly you might also become and it can have some bad effects on your skin so try to avoid fragrance as much as possible okay but sometimes what happens is that you really like a product and sometimes i have also noticed that totally natural product if they're carrying the you know natural order of all the ingredients they smell really horrendous and sometimes to actually hide that okay to cover it they are artificial fragrance or even natural fragrance for that matter it does not matter that's fine okay and if there is a very very mild fragrance that goes with time okay that goes immediately actually after applying or it takes one or two minutes that is also fine but something which actually lingers on for a very very long time stop using that okay you don't need that something like this like i mentioned it's still now it's smelling okay and it has been one or two minutes so something like this please avoid okay it will cause more harm than good to your skin and that's all the last one that i have is this lotus organics one this is spf 30 very ideal for oily skin people again how i like to apply this is when i apply a lot of moisturizer or my skin is acting crazy and you know really oily then i apply it it gets scooped into my skin but if you are dry it will stick to your dry patches and it looks bad so yeah for that reason but again lotus is one brand just like vlcc which has many of its variants and it has made sunscreen for all the skin types so i strongly suggest you guys to go ahead and check their website for your skin type and which variant would you want creamy or gel so yeah with that i would give this a strong rating of i guess 6.5 uh okay because it has made me look bad in certain situations but then it sometimes it looks really beautiful so 6.5 on 10 is decent okay for my dry skin type now that we have come to an end of this video two star products i would like to mention which are not meant for face but for lips okay i have been mentioning this continuously in, in my video and i will mention it again and again because not everyone is going to watch every video of mine uh, if person A watches one video, person B will watch next. So yeah, if you're watching all the videos, I'm really sorry. But this is the minimalist SPF 30 lip balm. Now you protect everything, okay, on your face. You forget to protect your lips, which are actually more gentler than, you know, which are actually gentler than your uh, face skin, facial skin. So you need to protect this as well. And that's why you got to use the an SPF with lip balm. Wow a lip balm with spf okay so you got to use something like this you can use any brand but i really really love this one okay so go ahead with this one and it's really good it hydrates also for a very long time the other star product that i would like to mention is this mama earth spf 30 body lotion okay and my last in my last video i forgot to mention it was spf 30 no i said it's not written but it is written it's spf 30 right here i'm blind okay so yeah like i said you protect your whole face why don't you protect your whole body you need protection so for that you need something like this you need a body lotion with spf 
I don't know, I have a complaint with brands, with very, very famous brands, that if you're making something for acne, backne, um, everything, okay, body related issues, why not a variant with SPF? I think that should be the easiest for them to do. And yeah, major brands, please take a note and get a body lotion with SPF, okay? All of us really badly needed Vaseline ponds everyone okay so yeah with that I would like to end this video if you like this video give it a huge thumbs up and if you want me to do such more videos comment down below give me a recommendation I would love to do so for you guys okay and I'll be soon coming out with more recommendations for summers because summers are hitting and they're hitting hard and yeah you might need more product recommendations I am right here. Maybe the next video is gonna be gonna be about all the face washes. Okay, so yeah, bye bye.